Guys, what's up? It's your boy Crypto Marco yet again with another awesome video on the topic of cryptocurrencies. To currency, your friendly bank employee from around the corner told you not to invest in because he said that they're very sketchy and you should stay away from them. So in this video, I'll talk about EOS, or EOS, however you want to pronounce it. Um, a powerful infrastructure for decentralized applications and Ethereum. So EOS is allegedly the new Ethereum killer. Uh, a claim that many cryptocurrencies claim for themselves, but how true is it? We're gonna find out in this video. But before I get into that, I just wanted to say thank you very much for being here. I really appreciate you watching my videos. Um, if you find them helpful, I would appreciate if you would leave a like down below on this video and let's get into it. So as you can see, I already mentioned uh, EOS is a platform for decentralized apps and Ethereum is also big on dApps, so decentralized apps. And we all know what apps are, but what are decentralized apps? So basically I would like to explain this with Facebook. So with Facebook, we have the centralized server. Um, I mean, of course, Facebook doesn't have like one centralized server in like, you know, the backyard of Mark Zuckerberg and he's like sitting on top and, and watching it. Um, when you're uploading something, it just gets uploaded to Facebook. So the file is within the system of Facebook and they can do whatever they like with it. They can, uh, all your information that you're giving to them, they are saved at Facebook and also WhatsApp, because as you know, WhatsApp was acquired by Facebook for $22 billion and all the data that used to be on WhatsApp and Facebook is in their power. So it's it's uh, theirs pretty much. And if they don't want you to be in their network, they can kick you off. They can, as I said, they can do it with your data, whatever you like. And when there's technical issues with Facebook, which obviously doesn't happen really often, um, when the Facebook servers are down, all the other computers on the planet can connect to Facebook and it's just gone. It's, it's off the grid. And what decentralized apps are trying to do is uh, make everybody who's within the network the server. So the more people are there, the better pretty much. And this is an idea um, that is called peer-to-peer. -peer. Like it's based on peer-to-peer -peer networks. Um, I did not prepare, not, not that, not that kind of peer. Yes, this is what I was talking about. So um, as you can see, um, for example, say you wanna visit the CoinMarketCap website, right? So your computer has to, has to communicate with the uh, CoinMarketCap server then it's uh, transporting the data back and forth, and then you're gonna be able to see coin market cap. But what's happening in peer-to-peer uh, -peer networks is that every computer that's within the, that's in the network is sharing that information. So when, uh, when for example, this Q computer goes down, and this one, you, you're just gonna take the next computer, and that's how the, trans the information is gonna be transported. It just takes the next best computer. So nothing is really lost. And when one computer is off the grid, it's not a big deal. So, um, and the interesting applicational value that's unlocking through decentralization um, is, is a, a great example for that is in my opinion, Substratum. So if you haven't seen my video on Substratum, make sure to check it out. Substratum is a company that wants to decentralize the internet. So, um, when, for example, China doesn't like your content, doesn't like Facebook, they can just go and call Namecheap, be like, hey, dude, we don't like that. Then your website is gonna be taken off. In Egypt, for example, the whole country didn't have internet because they didn't want it, they, the Egyptian government didn't want the people to riot. So these are the dangers of centralized institutions. And while this does not happen often in um, the world that we know, um, it might be a great danger in the future. Like it's, it's amazing how many data people are willing to share with centralized institutions and basically give them the power of uh, what they know. So um, a, decentrali a decentralized 
um, kind of network would enable you to be the boss of what your data is being done with. Like you, the data stays with you. I mean, it's it's within the the network, so there's no central authority that can be like, okay, let's, let me just take this or stuff. Like, no, the central the network decides what happens with that. And um, you may be familiar with torrents. So with torrents, which I have never used. The more people seed a certain file, the more people can download. So you have to, the more connections, the better. Um, the older, the older viewers of my channel are gonna remember this. So this was on a, on a Mac, which I don't like that much. But as you can see, um, you could download songs on um, Napster and it was the first like uh, technology that uh, utilized peer-to-peer -peer technology on a bigger scale so as you can see like 14.2 kilobytes a second that was like the whooping uh, speed that we had back then over the telephone probably and um, you had to pretty much uh, expose your computer to eight if you wanted to hear, to listen to a song like there were so many sketchy songs and mp3 files there like so many viruses that it was really dangerous um but back to the topic um as you know like eos is not the only cryptocurrency that is claiming to be a ethereum killer and despite that fact ethereum stands tall and doesn't give a damn so the thing is that I'm not a financial advisor, so whatever you're, wherever you're investing in, do your own research and uh, keep in mind that everything that I say is subjective. Um, but something that will be probably quite controversial, I'm probably going to get a few dislikes for saying this, but just look at how v Vitalik is like the, the founder of Ethereum, how he's behaving when he's talking about Ethereum. Like there are so many cryptocurrencies that are that are. Uh, that might be a big threat to him but he doesn't give a damn so i and and obviously one problem that people have with ethereum is solidity it has its own uh, programming language that you have to learn before applying it eos on the other hand um can use every programming language um also eos is faster better scalable than ethereum so why is ethereum still better well I think Vitalik has a uh, an ace up his sleeve. I think that there is something going on in the background that sh that soon um, Ethereum is going to get a lot more scalable than it is right now, and uh, that maybe like the chart that we see right that we see right here might be the foot of a big mountain one day. So like this, would you like? $470 will look like the $2,055 in here and then Ethereum might go up to a lot more. So there's a lot of potential in Ethereum and it's not easy to kill a cryptocurrency such as Ethereum. Even if you sneak up behind on him and try to put a knife in his back, in his back I think that Ethereum uh, is wearing a Kevlar vest and there are just many cryptocurrencies depending on Ethereum. So um, even though even though um, EOS might be more scalable and faster than, than Ethereum, the fact is just that also a lot of cryptocurrencies are faster and more scalable than Bitcoin, for example. So um, in my opinion, it's not just what a cryptocurrency can do on a technological basis. Um, it's also uh, the, 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 the price is also getting governed by things that you can't see on paper. So don't think that Ethereum is going to be gone that easily. And um, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I hope you th that you learned something. Keep in mind that it's much the objective point of view. But if you have any feedback or question or you disagree, I would gladly enjoy in a dialogue. Because among everybody commenting, I'm giving away a small amount of Litecoin once a day. You heard that right. Once a day, a small amount of Litecoin. All you have to do is leave your comment in the... I'm a, after the comment, just leave your Litecoin address and that's where you participate in the raffle. So check out my other videos if you're interested. I make a lot of BitConnect videos because my BitConnect is my main income source of income. So if you enjoy that, check it out. 
and um, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and thank you so much for being here i hope you have a lot of success with trading and you have get you're healthy and your family is well and everything and uh thanks for watching see you next time bye bye